get it one. Beers and Dad here. Now, a number of you guys have actually requested this particular product for me to do a product review of, and I finally managed to get it in. So, this is the unboxing and first impression of this Dell Latitude 9510. Now, this is the 2 in 1 version of it, so which is kind of nice. Now, if you join me for the very first time, I actually, with my unboxing and first impression video, is I pretty much just only have a quick flick through the spec sheet. I actually haven't seen the photo of it, and I haven't really touched a few of it. So, as you see me unbox it, this is my very first time meeting this particular computer as well. So, I first want to make a big thank you to Intel and also to Dell Australia for sending me this product for review. Now, after I've finished with the review, I'll be sending this particular product back to them anyway. But thank you very much for providing this. So, without further ado, let's get on with it. Now, as always, I've always got my trusty worthy knife here to do the unboxing. So, yes, here we go. Now, this here is the Dell 9 series. Now, this is Dell's new series for... Oh, sorry, I better should concentrate on doing this. I'm cutting here first anyway. Uh, but this is Dell new 9 series for 2020. Now, so this is a new series that they brought out for 2020. And they put a lot of their new, latest, greatest AI system in there, as well as a lot of their latest beautiful technology in this particular product as well. So this is exciting to actually see. And also that should be quite thin as well too. Um, I saw the CES quick, quick flip from there. Uh, but that's pretty much all I've seen of it, just to see, just to hear what it's all about. So yes, all right, so here we go. Now I'm going to employ my other quick little helper here. Uh, I'll just do it this without doing the helper yet. I'll bring it after that. Now this one's, okay, this one, we've got the power adapter here. Now it's just a nice little free phone, as always. I'll just put it aside. And as always, I like to see the power adapter. Now, what have we got for the power adapter? Okay. So we've got a USB-C power adapter, which is great. And this is a 65 watt power adapter. And of course, it's quite nice size there, which is quite nice. Very similar to the Latitude 7 series as well too. So that's quite good. All right, let's have a look what we've got here. I'll just put this around here and there we go. Okay, this is it. Now. I'm just going to throw some of this stuff away so we don't have any of this table here. Now, whoa. Now, this is a very nice brush sort of feel to this 9 series. Beautiful. This is a 2 in 1. So, again, at the back here, it's uh, that, I forgot what it's called, polycarbonate or something, but that's that plastic there. Uh, it's not aluminium at the back there, but the front is aluminium there. So, that's got a very nice aluminium feel to the front of it, for sure. And the side is all brushed aluminium. Very beautiful brush. Oh, very nice. It's very. It's like the Precision 5550, if you see my view there. That's got that really beautiful brush aluminium feel to it. Very nice there. But um, yeah, let's have a quick look at the ports here, okay? So what have we got here? So looking on the left-hand side, uh, we've got the HDMI port. That's nice to see. Uh, two Thunderbolt ports. Uh, and of course... The one on the left is where you plug in the power, so that's the power delivery. And then a micro SD card reader on the left side. Along the back is, you'll just see the hinge and also the vents. Actually two amount of vents, that's a lot of vents there. Now it's interesting that the vents on the right side is a little bit different covered to the left side here. So I've got to have a little read about that one there. And then on the right side, uh, we've got the USB, it's probably 3.1 Gen 2 ports. And that was also have power share as well. And then we've got the audio, audio jack and then a noble lock there. Interesting how they put the noble lock on the very, very left. But then again, it's not unusual because of the thinness of this as well too. Uh, they've actually had to move it because it gets tapered down, gets thinner that way there. So very nice. Oh, I really love the, the feel of the sides there. Beautiful. Definitely beautiful there. In the front, there's nothing there, and the diagnostic light is actually on the very left there. Cool. Now, I will probably bring in my good old helper here to give us a little bit of a hand here. So, all right, let's have a look. I'm just going to slowly flip this open, slowly, and let's just have a look at this. Whoa, very nice. Oh, and that's right. This is one of the things about the 9 series. Um, as you lift the lid, it is auto-sensing and will automatically turn itself on or wake itself up. So this is one of the new AI systems about all of this stuff here. 
which is really cool here. So, yeah, Friday to, well, probably set to a US time there, uh, or some sort of time, so I've got to correct that, don't I? Sure, but, yo, okay, let's bring down the volume. I'll have to test that a little bit later. Very nice, but yeah, so very nice that actually just, I just want to do that one more time. Uh, supposedly, at the moment, I haven't got, and it's got an IR on top here. Uh, for the webcam and it does sensor you so it will be automatically log you in automatically just like Windows Hello does but it's a little bit more smarter than that and I think when as you walk away as well it automatically goes to sleep or locks the computer for you as well so it's got this really crazy AI built into this as well too so yeah it's very nice I can definitely see it. nice even this bottom panel here the palm rest beautiful brush and aluminium too very nice. Uh, like I've had brush aluminium from the 7 series, but this one has is another quality altogether. It definitely feels nicer for sure. Uh, even I think it's even better than the precision aluminium for sure for 55 series. There, that is I really love the build quality. That's that's that is very nice. Uh, I gotta say, yeah, for sure. I'm really impressed by the build quality of the material of this aluminium here. So yes, and then we've got the speaker grills on the side there, that's nice to see. And looking at the keyboard here, the keyboard is very similar to the 7 series, uh, Latitude 7410. Uh, I can see the spacing is quite nice in there, it's a nice rubber feel to it, very nice. Well, not rubber feel to it, but very nice. So a bit of tactile feel to it, yes, it's very nice there. And you've got a more of a, more of a softer surface rubber. Uh, not rubber, it's uh, plastic um, for the, the surface of the keys so it's not that really hard plastic feel to it so it's got a nice feel to it there at all um, so it has a little bit of softness to it as well too so I actually really like this new 2020 um, keyboard that they've put into the 9 series and I think the 7 series and I don't think the 5 series got it yet and again the power button on the very very top right there so uh, this one doesn't have the fingerprint scanner. I'm taking us the fingerprint scanner is built into the power key as well. So this, this particular model is not opted in with it anyway. So, but you can option it in and in. So definitely. And just kind of quick look at the screen. I'll just break this computer up. Oh yeah, the screen is literally near bezel-less as well too. Very similar to, well, it's not, I wouldn't say the same as the position 5550 because the 5550 aspect ratio is a 16 by 10. This is still a 16 by 9, I can see, but still very bezel-less there for sure and of course if I just flip this around as you can do um, you can actually do that one there as well too so it's auto rotates now what's very interesting is uh, with the power button I, I've been asked about this if you can actually turn off the power button will it turn off your tablet mode yes it will there you go I'll just try and power button again yeah so if you're in tablet mode you can actually press the power button and it will wake itself up or turn itself on and off. So that's one good thing about that. So that is, I'm just I'll show it to you, you know, on the camera, sorry. I'm here looking at the camera, this beautiful machine here. It's very got nice and beautiful. So I'm gonna press the power button now and it turns itself on. So it does work in tablet mode. So that's kind of nice to see that's been added. But yeah, very, very beautiful feel to it. Like I can see for, it doesn't have a screen protector there neither too. The screen's got a very nice look to it as well too. But um. Yeah, you'll get a bit of fingerprint scanner. Now, I don't think they've actually provided me with a pen there. I'll just quick, quick check. I'll just have a quick check if they did provide me with a pen or anything like that. It is a two and a half wall. Nope, you didn't get a pen for that. That's okay. That's all right. Okay, prepared because I've got the Dell PN 579X with me as well. So I, I actually have. So I'm just going to log into this thing here. So I'm just going to keep it in tablet mode here. And, uh, oh, yeah, so this kind of looks what it looks like. Now I probably have to. Whoop. Do I need to kind of make this thing work? No, nope, I might have to pair this thing up here for it to make it work in a way. So I'll do this a little bit later on to pair this up. But yeah, just the, just the look of it is quite nice there. Um, and, oh, and even the trackpad. Now, how's the trackpad? Now, that's got a bit of glass sort of feel to it, and it looks even from the top end. It looks very different to the Latitude 7000 series for the trackpad there. The trackpad looks more uh, like integrated in. This one is more definitely more like a glass, like a second two layer for sure to it as well, too. So, very nice feel to it, very smooth there. 
Well, there, I like that there as well, completely there. Yeah, nice. And it is mechanical, I can feel it pressed down a little bit there for there. But no, yeah, very nice. I quite like this look of this here, uh, for sure. And I'll definitely be creating a second video, as you haven't seen. I will do a second video when I spend a bit of time with this computer here. I'll check, of course, the thermals, I'll check, of course, the fan noise, I also can check the display as well, and i also do the jitter test with the pen as well too, so for those who want, who are interested in that, uh, and I'll try to find a little bit more about that, but this is just a quick, let's just have a quick look at this 9510 2 one right? so, but I'm, at the moment, very impressed by the build quality of this computer for sure. And I like to see what it actually can do. That's different too. I have asked um, Dell, and I like to find out what's the difference between this nine series with the seven series. Uh, but definitely, I can straight away feel that the build quality of the nine series is a lot, a different grade completely to the seven series. There, um, that's one thing for sure. I can see for sure. But I want to see what else it can do now. With processor wise, you can get an i7 or an i5 on this. And as for the RAM wise, it can go up to the six maximum capacity of 16 gigs. Uh, it doesn't have a discrete graphics on this one here. It's just using Intel integrated graphics. And it also has a Wi-Fi 6, of course, with this 10th generation Intel as well. Um, so which is kind of nice to see, but definitely, and I think the screen's about 400 nits uh, of what I saw. And I'll do a test on that one as well in my review video. So I hope you actually enjoyed this unboxing and first impression of this video. If you did, Give it a like, and if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button on the bottom right hand screen. I do try to upload a new video every week. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.